What's up guys? So is it important for you to speak up as a product manager in your current workplace? Uh, this is a question that was posted on Blind recently and it's an interesting question because I don't think it applies just for product managers, especially in the tech role and the tech space. I think a lot of roles require good communication in order to succeed, in order to be good at your job. Uh, and so we're gonna explore this idea a little bit further and really get into the detail of how important verbal communication is in a job. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, so the title of this post says, I'm a PM, but I don't speak up very much. Will that affect my career progression? He says, what do you think? Here's how I naturally approach things. I am not an extrovert. I speak up when it's my turn. I articulate my thoughts fairly well. I'm confident when I speak, but I need to think things through, which I think is a, is a very good thing. And that's something that uh, a lot of us probably need more of. Uh, he says, I come off as calm and poised, but that can be perceived as a lack of passion and energy. I ask smart questions, but I struggle with brainstorming, for example, where people share their point of view, even though they're half-baked. I am comfortable in one-on-ones, but struggle in larger meetings. Thoughts? Anyone overcome this? Or is this an okay approach for a PM? Cool. I'm assuming this person is probably more of an I on the MBTI scale, more of an introvert. I think the reality is half the population is probably more on the E side, which is extroverted, half of them being on the other side, introverts. So it's just kind of the way things are. You know, there's people out there with different personality types. Some are more extroverted, some are more gregarious, others are a little bit more calm and reserved. And that's just the reality of, of being a human. And we have product managers on both sides of that fence. I've come across PMs, not just in my company, but also in previous companies where they came from completely different backgrounds. Some came from engineering, others came from business or marketing or sales. Now, are there certain functions where they do tend to produce more PMs? Sure, uh, but PMs come from all different walks of life, uh, education, background, country, so on and so forth, uh, in even personality types. Now, I will say though that Product managers, if you look at the job title, if you look at the job description of what they do, at the end of the day, they're the product owner. They need to be able to speak to pretty much everyone involved in the success of that product, whether that's engineering, UX, design, marketing, finance, sales, um, HR maybe even. I mean, there's a plethora of teams that product managers have to be able to talk to, to communicate, to articulate their thoughts. And if you think about the job of a PM, right? They're really the face of whatever product feature or service that you're providing to customers. And being able to not only have good written communication, being able to write documents, write good emails, uh, PowerPoint presentations, whatever artifacts that you do for your company, and every company is gonna be a little bit different, but through and through, written communication is absolutely key. And I would argue that verbal communication is just as important as well. I mean, imagine you're, you're having to talk to customers, you're having to talk to internal stakeholders, partners, uh, leadership, right? That's another big piece where PMs oftentimes have that visibility where they can talk to leadership and they have a very um, sort of open communication channel with them because oftentimes decisions are made at that level and you have to be able to get feedback and inputs from the people who are making the most critical decisions. So in order to get their feedback, you have to communicate your ideas, your thoughts, your proposals, your arguments, uh, and have a debate with them. And so the PM role, especially in tech, but I would assume across you know all different types of industries, all types of communication are gonna be absolutely critical. Now, is it possible to be an introvert and still be successful as a PM? Yes. I am not saying that I'm successful as a PM, although I've worked for a number of years, but I am definitely more on the I side. I think when I took the MBTI years ago, well, during business school, I think I had to come out of my shell a little bit and be a little bit more extroverted. And I think when I took the test back then, I did score a little bit more on the E side, but knowing who I am, knowing kind of my personality, I'm definitely more of an introvert and that's who I am. And I enjoy having my own space and time, but I also enjoy working with people and talking to people and just getting things done in a team setting. But at the same time, I knew that going into a PM role, I knew I needed to work on those skills, work on my ability to communicate my thoughts, my ideas, both through written and verbal communication. And it's helped me quite considerably, um, I won't lie. I think if I wasn't a good communicator, if I wasn't uh, putting in the time and effort to build these skills and improve on them every single day, then I would probably just get by or I might have to find a new role and realize that, hey, this is probably not the role for me. And I'm not saying to the OP right now that you need to find a new role. I'm just saying that if you wanna stay in PM, if you wanna be a very good PM where you can build products that people love, 
where you can also be kind of the voice of the customer and be able to communicate not just from the customer to the product teams, but also vice versa from product to customers, then that's going to help supercharge your career and it's going to take you to new heights um, versus being sort of a below average or, or average communicator. Um, now, there's different ways to communicate. You know, the OP mentioned that he or she is not very expressive in meetings. They tend to hold their thoughts a little bit more. They think about things a little bit more before they speak. And I think those things are important. I think the quality of your ideas and your thoughts are more important than quantity. If you're the type of person where you're in every meeting, you're throwing out ideas that really don't have a lot of thought or data or substance behind it, it's probably not going to go anywhere. But if you're speaking up at the right time, at the right place with well thought out ideas, then you'll build that trust, you'll build that credibility with your team and they'll be like, oh, so and so is speaking up, let me pay attention, let me listen and uh, see if I can learn something. So if you can really focus on building that skill set, building that expertise through experience, through just shipping great products, then I think you're going to be in a fine position. So yeah, going back to the original point, focus on quality, not quantity, and I think you'll be fine. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on this question. Let me know what you guys think. Are there other things that this OP can do to be a better communicator as a product manager? Do you think communication is critical, not just for PM roles, but a whole bunch of corporate roles? And are there other suggestions that you guys have on helping to improve this, this super important skill set? Drop some comments down below, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.